Welcome to the Potter Intelligent Nitrogen Generator installation video for the model INS600. For more information and detailed installation instructions, visit www.pottersignal.com. Find an installation location that is dry, clean, and well ventilated. Allow access to the front of the unit for service. The unit should be conveniently located near the fire sprinkler system connections and near a drain. Ensure a dedicated electrical circuit with an electrical disconnect switch has been supplied for power. Mount the included wall bracket to studs in the wall using four 5 16 inch diameter lag bolts or appropriate wall anchors. Note, ensure wall and mounting application are capable of supporting 182 pounds and handling minor vibration. Lift the nitrogen cabinet onto the wall bracket ensuring the hanging flange at the top of the cabinet mates with the lip of the wall bracket. Bolt the nitrogen cabinet to the wall bracket using the two 3 8 inch diameter bolts that were previously removed to detach the bracket from the cabinet. If mounting to the floor, locate the four 5 16 inch holes in the bottom of the cabinet and use the appropriate bolt and or anchor combination to secure to the floor. Anchor the nitrogen storage tank to the floor using the four 3 8 inch diameter flange bolts. Install half inch NPT piping from the nitrogen outlet connection on the nitrogen cabinet to the nitrogen tank inlet valve V02 on the nitrogen tank. To plumb the nitrogen generator to the sprinkler system, install half inch NPT piping from the half inch FNPT tank outlet valve V03 on the nitrogen storage tank to the air maintenance device using standard accepted installation practices. From here, plumb the supply line to the sprinkler system. Insert the provided 10 foot sections of quarter inch drain tubing using the two push to connect ports on the right side of the generator cabinet. Ensure this is plumbed to the floor drain in the sprinkler room. Do not pipe the drain tubing upward and make sure drain tubing is restrained. Each riser requires a minimum of one nitrogen purge valve to be installed prior to implementing the nitrogen purging procedure. For installation instructions, refer to model NGP SPV bulletin or model INSPV manual supplied with each purge valve. Note, Purge valves must be installed as shown to allow oxygen to escape. Water trapped in piping can also block the flow of nitrogen to the purge orifice. To wire power to the INS600, open the front panel at the top of the nitrogen cabinet to access the wiring terminal blocks. Use the half inch or three quarter inch knockouts on the right side of the cabinet for electrical conduit. Depending on the voltage for the model, follow the wiring diagram located on the inside of the nitrogen generator cabinet door or refer to the nitrogen generator manual. All wiring should be performed by a licensed electrician and conform to NEC and all applicable local standards. For optional internet connectivity, wire a Cat5 Ethernet cable using a half inch knockout on the left side of the cabinet to the Ethernet port on the intelligent controller on the inside of the nitrogen cabinet. If an IntelliPurge nitrogen purge valve is being used, wire stranded three-wire cable to the appropriate P-Link terminal blocks next to the controller using a three-quarter inch knockout on the left side of the cabinet. Using the same three-quarter inch knockout on the left side of the cabinet, a Form C relay is available to wire any building management system to the BMS terminal blocks. Before beginning, make sure the water supply to the sprinkler system is turned off. Make sure all piping connections have been made in accordance with the installation instructions. Ensure the air compressor power switch, located on the right side of the cabinet, is in the off position. Close the air maintenance device. If multiple air maintenance devices are used, ensure all valves are in the closed position. Close the N2 tank outlet valve, labeled V03, on the nitrogen tank. Open the N2 inlet valve labeled V02 on the nitrogen storage tank. Turn power on to the nitrogen generator using the contractor installed electrical disconnect switch. The intelligent display will turn on indicating power with a green LED labeled power. Note, there will be a short delay as the intelligent display turns on and the system boots up. The amber LED labeled bypass will activate if the pressure is less than 55 PSI in the nitrogen storage tank. Turn power on to the air compressor using the switch labeled air compressor power located on the right side of the cabinet. The air compressors will begin running and the pressure in the nitrogen tank will begin to rise. Start recording the time it takes until the compressors turn off. 
When the nitrogen tank pressure reaches approximately 80 PSI, the valves inside the cabinet will close and the compressors will turn off. The nitrogen generator is isolated from the sprinkler system. The air compressors should take no longer than four minutes to pressurize the tank and turn off in bypass mode. If the air compressors are not turning off or it is taking longer than expected, refer to the troubleshooting section in the manual. When the nitrogen tank is pressurized, the amber LED labeled bypass on the intelligent display will turn off and the mode of the intelligent display will change to N2 mode. This indicates that the unit is now in nitrogen generating mode. Check all piping connections for leaks as pre-plumb fittings may have loosened during shipment. Any pressure drop on the tank during this time could indicate a leak. To ensure the nitrogen generator is operating correctly and the correct nitrogen purity is being produced, a functional test must be performed. On the inside of the nitrogen cabinet, locate the blue N2 bleed valve labeled V01. Slightly open the blue N2 bleed valve and begin relieving the pressure from the nitrogen tank. Quickly close the blue N2 bleed valve when you see the LED on the compressor unloader labeled XV04 turn on. This will happen at approximately 60 PSI as shown on the intelligent display. Immediately begin timing to see how long it takes to reach approximately 80 PSI in the nitrogen storage tank while the nitrogen generator is in nitrogen generating mode. Note, if the pressure in the nitrogen tank drops below 55 PSI, the nitrogen generator will return to bypass mode. Close the valve and wait for the nitrogen generator to refill the tank and the unit to return to N2 mode before trying again. If the nitrogen generator is isolated from the fire sprinkler system, the INS 600 should take no longer than six minutes to pressurize the nitrogen storage tank to 80 PSI. During this time, connect the portable nitrogen analyzer to the nitrogen sample port labeled SP to measure the purity of the exiting gas. The analyzer should read 98% plus or minus 1%. This may take a few minutes. When the nitrogen generator reaches approximately 80 PSI in the nitrogen storage tank, the air compressor will turn off. Now we must fill the fire sprinkler system to supervisory pressure and begin the purge process. To fill the fire sprinkler system, open the N2 tank outlet valve labeled V03 on the nitrogen tank and open the bypass valve on the air maintenance device. The pressure in the nitrogen storage tank will decrease rapidly, causing the nitrogen generator to switch to bypass mode and the air compressors to turn on. The amber LED labeled bypass will turn on and the mode on the intelligent display will turn to bypass mode. This indicates that the nitrogen generator is filling the system with air to meet the NFPA required 30 minute fill time. Allow the fire sprinkler system to reach the desired supervisory pressure. This should take 30 minutes or less. Note, fill one system at a time. Filling multiple systems at once could lead to longer compressor run times and possible damage to the equipment. Allow air compressors to cool before beginning again. As soon as sprinkler system supervisory pressure is reached, put the sprinkler system back into service by placing the air maintenance device in the maintenance position. Refer to the air maintenance device manual for proper operation. When the sprinkler system or systems are completely filled, the nitrogen generator will repressurize the nitrogen storage tank to capacity. The air compressors will turn off and the unit will automatically return to nitrogen generating mode or N2 mode. Note, the amber LED labeled bypass should be off and the mode on the intelligent display will display N2 mode. Set the sprinkler system capacity by pressing enter on the intelligent display keypad. Select settings using the keypad and press enter. Enter passcode 0000. Select leak rate and press enter. Press enter to change settings. Select sprinkler capacity and press enter. Using the numeric keypad, enter the total capacity of all supervised systems and press enter. Press escape to return to the main menu. Reset the leak rate by pressing the MAINT button, short for maintenance, on the Intelligent Display keypad. Enter 0000 for the passcode. Move the cursor to the XSN2 demand and press Enter. Press Enter on the keypad to clear maintenance alert and reset leak rate labeled LR. You will receive confirmation that the alert has been cleared. 
Press Escape to return to the main screen. Set the time and date by pressing Enter on the Intelligent Display keypad. Select Settings using the keypad and press Enter. Enter passcode 0000. Select Date, Time, and press Enter. Select Set Date, Time, and press Enter. Begin by setting the month using the numeric keypad, pressing the right arrows to advance. This process for the day and then the year. Press right again to advance to the time. Using the numeric keypad, select the hour and then press the right arrow. Next, set the minutes and press the right arrow. Use the up and down arrows to select AM or PM and then press Enter. Press Escape to return to the main screen. If an INSPV is connected to the nitrogen generator, the network must be learned before a purge can be started. Press Enter on the Intelligent Display keypad. Select Settings using the keypad and press Enter. Enter passcode 0000. Select Network and press Enter. Select Learn Network and press Enter. This will cycle through all available addresses to find programmed network devices. Once this is complete, you will be given two options. P-Link Found and P-Link Removed. Select P-Link Found and press Enter. Use the up and down arrow keys to verify that all devices have been found and press Escape. Press Enter to accept these changes. The Intelligent Display keypad and all connected INSPVs will reboot. If an INSPV is connected to the generator and you have learned the network, press the Purge button on the Intelligent Display keypad. Enter 0000, press Start Purge, select All Devices, press Enter. The system is now purging. If an NGP SPV mechanical purge valve is being used, simply remove the brass plug and open the ball valve. This completes the installation for Potter's INS600 Intelligent Nitrogen Generator. For more information, please visit www.pottersignal.com.